Let's her team catch up a little bit. It'll be Williams on Washington at the top. Pitt starting out in that man-to-man, -man, the on-ball screens that they're trying to ice right now and not letting Wake Forest use. Move ahead for the Panthers. Down low, some room for King, and she gets her first couple points of the game. We'll be saying her name a lot tonight. Decides to get things started. Yeah, you see here, look at King, wide open underneath, two players. Jordan working back down low to King now in the paint. And she looks for some space. Man, what a nice move down low from her. She is so good down there in the paint. She is going to win that battle all night long. We'll see her play up, up high as well, and she can be effective from there as Scruggs gets a three straight away, and that one drops with just under five to go from Pittsburgh. Brianne, pretty strong start for Wake, especially from deep. That was just tremendous ball movement by the Demon Deacons. Another turnover here from Pitt. Wake with numbers in transition. Harrison trying to get it to go off the glass, and she does. So Wake Forest open it up to an 8-4 lead. Yeah, I think at this point, the only thing she would like to get back are those turnovers that her team is having right now. Four turnovers aside so far as the open jumper goes down there. Here's Diebel. First time we've really seen her too much today. Gets that one stripped away, but it goes out of play. Less than a half minute to go here until the end of the first quarter. Wake looking to add on here before the break. Diebel around Conley. Three ball. Yes. And Wake Forest makes that lead six. Washington's driving with five to go, and she gets that one to go. Through contact, Marley Washington finishes with the left hand. I don't know if I love the call, but great stance by Coles to get there and beat Leah King to the spot. Conley, three. That one drops, and Wake Forest now up to a seven-point lead. That's now nine Wake Forest points off of pit turnovers. Coles again down low, fighting through contact off the glass and in. They moved their pivot foot, but I guess she got away with a great move by uh, excuse me, by Coles to split that double team. Jayla Jordan can't get that one to go, and the Panthers continue to struggle from the field. Harrison out, Diebel three, yes! Splitting that double team, but then they really got it going from behind three, as you see Katie Dibble getting in there off the bench of ways. King looking to get Pitt back on the score sheet here in quarter number two, and she just does just that. I think she wanted it, and the crowd also wanted it too. Wake Forest working back down against Wofford, and has really added a nice bit of depth here to this Wake Forest guard group. King the jumper, yes, and she is still perfect from the field. Make that four for four for Leah Two King. Game steals, blocks per game, minutes per game, field goal percentage, and double doubles. Just keep going, Zach. She <laughs> does it all for this team. She's incredible. Deeple the three, and Wake Forest stays hot from deep. You see here, offensive chance, or excuse me, offensive board. Hit back the other way with Bella Perkins. Perkins, her first shot of the night goes down. And there she is. That's huge for the Pitt Panthers. And before that, she was 0 for 15 in her prior three games. Looks like she's starting off hot shooting here again today. Yeah, and this is just a great read. But Haven't gotten the consistent body of work, but it looks like she's putting it together towards the end of the ACC schedule. Yeah, absolutely. She transferred from USC. She was the Virginia State Player of the Year. Williams knocks that one down. As you mentioned, was held off the score sheet before that, but picks up her first couple of the night. Yeah, not for long, I guess. End to end. As Pitt tries to do some damage here, just a little bit over two and a half to go before the break. Whistle blows, and Leah Two King will go back to the line. Pitt's got that field goal percentage back up to 40% as Diebel takes another three and finds the bottom of the net again, her third three point field goal of the night. As you see here, Diebel just too far off her is Aislinn Malcolm. She knocks it down, her third. Defensive tactics. Yeah, absolutely, and especially tonight, she's the only one producing for Pitt. Deflected on the inbound, and Perkins finished. A broken play there. Comes up fruitful for the Panthers as they cut that lead down to 11. Yeah, wow, that was huge for the Panthers right there, as luckily, Bella Perkins sees the clock. Panthers, a lot of motion up top outside the arc. King one-on-one -on -one with Scruggs, and she's going to win that matchup against just about everybody in the country. 
Once again, the driving force for this Panthers team. Some contact down low there on Jordan. Pitt working in transition quickly the other way as King's blocked and out of play. Battle, nice pass over to Jordan, but she gets that one stripped away from her. It's Harrison on the other end as she goes the other way. Nice move from her, reverse goes down. Wow, but even better play by Kaya Harrison. Oh, that is so nice. Scruggs, nice defense there from Ayadel again. Yeah, great defensive block. Wake hasn't scored in about two minutes and change. But that changes, however, as Williams able to shake off a defender. Three rebounds, three assists so far. Bella Perkins, really nice pass to Ayadel. Here's Diebel. Fighting for room down low, Harrison gets two. Looking for the screen up high from King, finds some room, takes the jumper. That one blocked, but Ayadel regathers and is fouled. Eight-point lead for the Demon Deacons. Diebel, three. On the mark again from her. Man, Diebel feeling it. Here you see her point guard, Kaya Harrison, finding her. Getting the Deeks up in the air. Just cannot connect. Hit one of their last seven from the field. Diebel, he checked three, and that one drops. Can she do it again, Zach? And the third point guard finding her for a second three. Pitt needs an answer. They've missed seven of eight now from the floor. King, Perkins, big corner three here. That one goes down. You see here, Leah 2 King drives the baseline, doesn't have anywhere to go, but finds her shooter, Bella Perkins, wide open. Who is Pitt's second leading scorer so far tonight. Battle, drive, right hand. Nice play by Aaron Battle. She makes something of nothing. Desperation heave there from Perkins won't go, but the Panthers get a turnover. Three and two to go at the end of the quarter, and Leah 2 King tacks on a couple more. Her miss three, but Rapalucci Ayadel jumps in the passing lane. Washington's over to battle. Looking for Jordan, who came in for Ayadel after she fouled out. Harrison on Washington. Harrison again using her athleticism to get free. You can see why she's had a really strong game, but you look here at Harrison again. She is just so shifty. Certainly a game she's going to be happy about looking back on this. Washington goes down again. A little bit of trouble there in the backcourt for the Panthers, but they are able to get it up with Battle, who rolls it in. Yeah, and that's a great take by Aaron Battle. And you really can't say enough about this effort from Wake Forest as they pick up their first win in ACC play.